Okay, so here we are doing our narrative poem performances. We're going to try and do a before and after scene so that people can see the difference between adding all of the things that we use to do dramatic performance um, before and after. And here we have Alexandra who is doing the before and she will also do the after um, about Richard Corey. And in this case, she's doing the before reading just um, re just reading the narrative poem as it stands and scene. Whenever Richard Corey went downtown, the people on the pavement looked at him. He was a gentleman from soul to crown, clean favorite and apparently slim. <clears throat> and he always quiet arrayed. He was always hidden when he talked, but he still fluttered closely when he said good morning and he glittered when he walked. And he was richer. But he was rich, yes, richer than a king, and admirably schooled in every grace. In fine, we thought that he was everything to make us feel and wish that we were in his place. So on, we worked and waited for the light and went without me and cursed the bread. And Richard Corey, one calm summer night, went home and put a bullet through his Great. It was a good reading of Richard Corey. Now, can you please add emphasis, put on the apron, take the wooden spoon, and let's get going with that. Um, I've taken the liberty of bringing just a simple apron from my own house and a wooden cooking implement so that she's going to take on the character that I suggest, which is a housewife during the 1890s who is um, standing on a corner, perhaps gossiping to somebody. She's going to use focus and she's going to use emphasis and she's going to redo this poem based on those things. Ready? You can absolutely use somebody as a prop. Yes, you may. Who would you like to use as a prop? You want me to stand up? Okay, so if you're using somebody as a prop, don't forget audience is here. That person can't be in the way of the audience at all, so be careful of that. And that person who's your prop must have their back to the audience so that our focus is on you. Okay? So, good job, good idea, and ready, set, scene. Whenever Richard Corey went, to, um, went downtown, the people on the pavement looked at him. He was a gentleman from soul to crown, clean favorite and apparently slim. And when he, and he always was, he was always quiet and rave, and he was always human when he talked. But he still fluttered closely when he said good morning, and he glittered when he walked. And he was rich, yes, richer than a king and a merrily um, school in every grace. In fine, we thought that he was, he was everything to make us wish that he, we were in his place. And so on, we worked and waited for the light, and went without me and cursed the bread. And Richard Corey, one calm summer night, went home and put a bullet through his head. Okay, stop, I'm gonna make you do it again. I'm gonna give you some direction, I'm gonna make you try. Now, during this period of time, if you could, look at, Jayla, as if, you're, if, as if she's a girl, a woman that you're gossiping with over a, over a fence in town. And really get into the idea that you're talking about him behind his back. And point at her with your spoon. And walk around. And at the end, you know, like it's as if you're intimating with her that, can you believe it? He went home and put a bullet in his head. All right? So Jayla, you can move even a little bit closer. You don't have to be in the light, but you can move a little bit closer so that she can look like she's talking to you. And if you wouldn't mind dropping your arms a little bit, because back in the day they wouldn't have done that. And, and we're going to try again. So look at her as much as you can without looking at the poem, you know, like go, look back and forth as if you're just gossiping over a fence, like you're a housewife and you're just gossiping with your friends. Ready, set, scene. Whenever Richard Corey went downtown, we people on the pavement looked at him. He was a gentleman from soul to crown. He clean and clean favorite and apparently slim. And when he was always quiet at rain. And he always human he was always human when he talked, but he still fluttered closest. When he said good morning and he glittered when he walked. And he was richer, rich, yes, richer than a king, and a mildly schooled in every grace. In fine, we thought that he was everything to make us wish he was we were in his place. So on, we waited for the light. And went without me and cursed the bread. And Richard Corey, one summer night, went home and put a bullet through his head. Good, excellent. So towards the end, you got even more 
um, you got even more indicative using the spoon where the emphasis on the words were, and like this and like this, as if you were talking intimately to a friend who lived next door. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. And